Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radko Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. Weekly general tarot reading uh, March 1st up until March 7th, uh, 2021. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, or uh, if you want to take my tarot classes, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website where you can uh, view and purchase either or a both of these services. So with that being set aside, moving into the Pisces reading straight away. Now the first card that you do have Pisces, that is going to be the Three of Wands. Moving next, that is going to be the Knight of Cups and this one is coming up very frequently. Afterwards, what we do have, that will be the Six of Wands, followed by uh, the Eight of Wands. And the last one we have, that will be the Ace of Cups. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, no wonder that you do have a such of an active reading now, if you don't know, Venus is within your sign now. And I will um, take a few moments here to... I'll tell you what that means from the point of view of tarot. Now, I don't know what it means in terms of astrology, okay? But tarot also have a uh, um, astrology representative, representatives uh, in plural, which um, Pisces is represented by the moon card and Venus is represented by the empress. So Venus in Pisces, that is when the uh, Empress catalyzes the Moon card. And I said it into today's daily that I'm recording the video, uh, which is um, four days before the week. Uh, but uh, Venus in Pisces, you should not be uh, quick to judgment and into action. That is because at that point, um, yours and ours in general, uh, our uh, emotional state is going to be rather unstable. And uh, we um, are going to either over exaggerate reactions or be completely under, uh, under uh, or kind of like diminish reactions. So wh what I mean here is that when something triggers you guys, sleep it through, all right? Sleep it through a day or a two before you render your judgment, before you take your decision, because this period of time we carve in stones and you don't want to carve something bad for you, okay? Just because you were emotional when somebody told you something or did not told you what you have expected or somebody did something or they haven't done anything according to your expectations. And so moving to the, uh, to the reading, just hold on a second to see. Uh, yeah, okay, so it's, it's recording. Um, so the first card that's, and this is how you do start the week, uh, that will be the uh, Three of Cups, uh, Three of Wands, I'm sorry. So with the Three of Wands at the start of the week, Pisces, you're going to find yourself in a rather very pleasant place, career-wise or relationship-wise. Here, the Three of Wands points that your work from the previous week or weeks now shows to happen to be a rather very solid and well established. What I mean is that the patterns that you are going to find yourself at as, an, as a accomplishments in Strive are going to be very solid patterns and very well structured patterns as well. And the foundation of those patterns is going to be very, very stable. So needless to say here with the tree of, uh, with the tree of wands, you are going to find yourself in a rather good achievements or accomplishing a good achievement. And now sitting on these patterns and these foundations, you have to think of how you can challenge yourself. What I mean is that to strive or move to do something that a little bit exceeds your uh, limits and capabilities that you think you have. Because according to the card, now it's time for you to improve and to grow. And one grows when they surpass themselves, you know, when they, uh, how can I say, leave, uh, lift up the bar of their expectations. 
and of um, how can I say and of their performance and as we do speak about expectations three of wands is a clear sign that at the start of the week whatever uh, whatever your expectations are for a result or for a, a, a chain of events you know or, or in generally uh, for the things you do those expectations or the uh, the circumstances are going to completely live up to uh, to your expectations Three of Wands is an amazing card that calls you to act and to conquer new uh, new horizons. Okay, so if you are, are to be addressed with a project at the start of the week that um, you know you you find it a bit challenging, jump into it. You know, uh, in terms of a relationship as well, try to do something new with your boyfriend or a girlfriend. You know, or with a person of interest that it is a little bit off character for both of you, just so you can see, do you like it or not? So that is how you do challenge yourself in terms of a relationship. But suffice to say here, the start of the week for you is going to be amazing because you're gonna find yourself on a very, very solid patterns and foundations in terms of career and in terms of relationship. It is just, there is no other way to say it. Great job, guys. I mean, you did a great job this far. And right after that, we do have this individual here, which is the Knights of Cups. Now, that is somebody you either know or it could be somebody brand new here. And I will repeat it for the fourth time now today that the Knights of Cups, these people, they do like and only exquisitely follow what they want. The, the, the dreams of their heart, it is the most important thing that there is for them. And because it is in your reading, either what you do or you are happen to be a dream of their heart. So they will strive toward your life, toward your environment. Knight of Cups, capable of deep emotions and how can I say a deep um, emotional bond. Uh, let's say it that way. Now, the problem with the Knight of Cups, though, did I say Knight of Pentacles? I, I do apologize. Knight of Cups. The uh, the problem with the Knight of Cups, though, it is that they want to make other people happy. Okay, And why that is a problem, you may think, it is because they are prone to promise things they don't have an idea how to accomplish. Now, the promise itself that they give it's uh, it's genuine. What I mean is that they truly mean what they are offering or what they are promising. Now, the problem, though, it is that they have no idea how they are going to get there. That being said, though, um, Knights of Cups, they're not shy from action in the sense of that whenever they say something, they do anything to the best of their abilities to accomplish it. Sadly, sometimes things does not depend entirely on one individual or on one person. But they do not leave anything on a chance and thus when that person appears in your life and steps up, you can be sure that they are going to display, you know, their yearnings, they are going to display the reason why they showed up. You are not going to be left hanging, you are not going to be left presuming. And right after the appearance of this person, you are going to be pretty satisfied of how they showed up uh, and what what is the reason why they showed up here with the six of uh, wands because that card speaks for the recognition of the good achievements you have accomplished thus far and so if that person shows up and happens to um, uh, their dream to be um, or their dream is to be a business partner of yours that will be because you completely deserve it. That is because they recognize you as a very capable individual and now they want to make business with you. Now they want to make money with you. And that itself is going to make you feel amazing because the six of uh, the six of wands, it's about peak of experiences. Same thing goes in terms of relationships. You know, that person shows up and displays their love towards you. They are willing to act upon that love and that is the recognition you need in terms of uh, in term of a personal presence into the intimate world. And uh, that will be a huge thing for those, for example, that suffered a really rough breakup and they are wondering, am I ever going to find love again? If, and if that's your development here, that somebody shows up and uh, in your life and shows that you are everything they have ever wanted, you know, and th th they recognize you as such, you are going to feel amazing again because, hey, you, you pretty much 
make somebody loves you and that will be a recognition on its own but yeah suffice to say here six of wands shows that the achievements you have accomplished they are not a small thing you're gonna get the recognition for them you're gonna get the reward for them if you need any help the help is gonna come about as well with this card and it generally speaks for a peak of experiences like I said however Six of Wands is not a, a card that points to a grand achievement, so that you, you should take it as a milestone. And while you have uh, you have went very far from your original point, okay, beforehand, and in this week you are finding yourself very satisfied, you are finding yourself very accomplished. Um, you should not stop here and simply yeah you may take a day or two to enjoy you know the fruits of your labor but after that you need to really press forward and like i said with the first card you need to kind of like expand your performance you need to lift the bar okay of your performance and of your expectations as well because you are because your because uh, your accomplishments are far from over and uh, right after that Pisces, we do have the Eight of Wands, and that is where you do seek these new horizons to conquer for you. Now, Eight of Wands, it's a good card, all right? It, it shows how many options available you do have in front of you, how many opportunities as well are gonna be presented in front of you to take. But here, I, I could say genuinely that I'm proud of you because we do have the, the next card and you will see why when we get there. But here, you are going to approach any single opportunity with, a, so, so to speak, a, a sense of a grain of salt. That is because at that stage, you are to realize that not first, not every single opportunity is meant for you to undertake. Okay, and the other thing that you are going to come uh, to come to a conclusion that you have to be uh, calculative when you take on an option available, options available, because you also need to invest something into them at the end of the day. And while the Eight of Wands is the uh, little brother of the Wheel of Fortune, it tells you that you are going to have so much, you know, chances. Unlike the Wheel of Fortune here, there is a risk into these chances. And instead of mindlessly jumping into one thing, wasting resources into it and then to another and wasting resources into it as well, you are going to face those chances and opportunities with a clear headed mind, being very accurate about how much is going to take and what you're going to get at the end of it, being able to scale that and being conservative when you see that it's simply it's not worth it. And the weekend where one of these chances happens to be exactly what you need. Because the Ace of Cups, it's, um, you, you know, you can face it into the box that that is the love and so on and so forth. And it's true, but that is not just only the intimate love, guys. That, that is the love for life itself. Or in other words, whatever it is to happen to you at the end of the week, which is a result of one of these opportunities here, you are going to love having it into your life. Now, that is going to be the thing that makes all of the concerns thus far that you do have totally irrelevant. You have been concerned that you are never going to find love again. Well, that will become irrelevant. Why? Because you found it. You may have a concern, you know, for example, um, am I going to be able to sustain at my job? And this opportunity happens to you and that concern is no longer there because that opportunity sustains you at your job. This opportunity that you are going to have that it is one amongst many and you have been very accurate of scoping it out and taking on it will simply transcend your reality into a very 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 pleasant existence and like i said at the end of the week many of the uh, again worries and concern that makes you feel unstable makes you feel um insecure gone but yeah it's not excluded that at the end of the week you may find the love you require you may um you may find the job you're gonna love you know or the friend that you are going to love as well and that you're gonna feel the most important person in your life whatever it is to happen from these opportunities that you are gonna have towards the end of the week you're gonna freaking love it so that being said, guys, uh, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, March 1st up until March 7th, 2021. 
Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.